Hello, and welcome to APM Research, Natural Remedies. Nowadays, it seems all we hear about is illness and disease. Today, let's get into some of the natural plants that can help us with some of the ailments we are facing to help avoid man-made chemical medicines. If we can pull ourselves away from the chemical medicines and back to herbal cures, we will be better and have better results for the biological machines we call our bodies. I'm adding this disclaimer that I am not a licensed medical doctor. I am simply sharing information as to what a few natural cures to ailments found in plants, seeds, and roots are. The best way to go about natural cures would be do your own research and find out if there would be any interactions between existing problems you already have with the plants and herbs themselves. So, that being said, let's take a look at some of the plants and how they can benefit us and our bodies. Feverfew also known as Tanacetum parthenium, first used in ancient Greece and as early as the 5th century BC. Feverfew or featherfew has been used to treat a variety of ailments. These include fever, swelling, and inflammation. People commonly took the herb to relieve aches and pains such as headaches in the 1st century. The plant is native to the Balkan Mountains, but can now be found nearly worldwide. Eastern European cultures traditionally used feverfew for headaches, insect bites, and other pain. More modern uses have extended to the treatment of migraines, dizziness, inflammation, breathing problems. Feverfew is usually prepared by drying the leaves, flowers, and stems. This combination is also used to make supplements and extracts. Some cultures eat the leaves raw. A 2011 review suggests that feverfew is an effective treatment for migraines, fever, and the common cold, as well as arthritis. Feverfew may cause minor side effects such as bloating, canker sores, and nausea. You may also experience moderate side effects when discontinuing the use. These side effects can include difficulty sleeping, increased headaches, and joint pain. Pregnant women, as well as people taking blood thinning medications, and people with allergies to the daisy family, should avoid the use of fever few. Butterbur, also known as Pedocytes hybridius. Butterbur is found in wet marshy areas of Europe, Asia, and North America. People once used the leaves of the plant to wrap and preserve butter during warm weather, which is how Butterbur got its name. It's been used throughout history for a variety of purposes. Greek physicians originally used the plant as a skin ulcer remedy. Since then, it's been used to treat headaches, asthma, allergies, cough, fever, gastrointestinal problems, and general pain. Most butterbur herbal remedies use its purified root extract, pedicides, in a pill form to treat headaches and migraines. A 2012 study published in Neurology Trusted Source supports conclusions from older studies that pedicides is effective for migraine prevention when taken as 50 to 75 milligram doses twice daily. However, if you live in Europe, butterbur might be hard for you to obtain. The UK and Germany 
have both banned Butterbur from being sold because of safety concerns with the leading manufacturers. Peppermint, also known as Mentha Balsamia. It is a cross of spearmint and water mint. Peppermint grows throughout North America, Europe, and Asia. Peppermint leaves and their essential oils are used for medicinal and culinary purposes. In addition to headache treatment, it is also used to relieve spasms, toothaches, gastrointestinal problems, nausea. Peppermint oil and its active ingredient menthol are available in a tea version and are also very easy to brew. A 2010 study published in the International Journal of Clinical Practice found that menthol was effective at stopping migraine pain and easing nausea when applied to the forehead and temples in a 10% solution. Willow, also known as Salix SPP. Willow bark extract, or WBE, was used in the development of aspirin, a well-known over-the-counter pain reliever, fever reducer, and anti-inflammatory drug. WBE contains an anti-inflammatory ingredient called salicin. A 2012 study suggests WBE is also an effective antioxidant. Willow is a tree found in Europe, Asia, and North America. It's been used since the time of Hippocrates, 400 BC, when people would chew the bark for its anti-inflammatory and fever-relieving effects. Willow was later used in China and Europe for headaches, osteoarthritis, tendonitis, and lower back pain. Willow bark can be found in capsule form and as a chewable bark at most health food stores. Ginger or Zingiber officinale. Ginger is a topical Asian plant. It's been used in herbal medicines in China for over 2,000 years. It's also been popular in India and Arabic medicine since ancient times. Ginger has traditionally been used as a remedy for headaches, stomach pain, nausea, arthritis, cold and flu symptoms, neurological problems. Ginger has been a well-documented anti-inflammatory, antiviral, antifungal, and antibacterial in addition, a 2014 study showed that ginger powder's benefits were comparable to semitriptans, a common prescription migraine drug, but with fewer side effects. Most people can tolerate fresh or dried ginger roots or supplements or extract. Be careful not to combine gym, ginger supplements with blood thinners because of potential drug interactions. Ginger capsules and ginger tea are both relatively easy to obtain in almost any grocery store or pharmacy. You can also try drinking ginger water. Caffeine Caffeinated teas became common in China during the Ming Dynasty. They exploded into popularity in Europe during the 18th and 19th centuries. Green tea was used in combination with other herbs for migraine pain, traditionally in Chinese medicine. Coffee gained recognition in Arabia and yerba mate, a less widely known caffeinated tea, originated from South America. People in many cultures primarily consume caffeine to help treat headaches, 
high blood pressure, stomach problems, sexually transmitted diseases, cancer, circulatory problems, inflammation, skin damage, and kidney disease. Caffeine is still found in many over-the-counter pain relievers today. Valerian also known as Valeriana officinalis. Valerian is native to Europe and Asia. It's now also commonly found in North America. Use of Valerian traces back to ancient Greece and Rome from the time of Hippocrates. It was also recognized as a remedy for insomnia a few centuries later. Valerian was also known as the All Heal in the 1500s, as it was used to treat a multitude of ailments. These include insomnia, headaches, heart palpitations, tremors, anxiety. It's sometimes used in the modern treatment of headaches. Valerian is usually taken as a supplement, a tea, or mixtures made from the dried roots. Liquid extract is also available in a capsule form. Valerian root capsules are widely sold in the United States. Coriander seed, also known as Coriandrum sativum. For over 7,000 years, people across cultures have used coriander seeds healing and seasoning properties. Coriander was lauded for its ability to treat ailments that range from allergies to diabetes to migraines. Coriander has been used to relieve sinus pressure and headaches by pouring hot water over the fresh seeds and inhaling the steam. Research on the seeds' medicinal effects is generally focused on its potential to treat arthritis and diabetes. More studies need to be conducted to determine if it is a useful remedy for migraine pain. However, coriander seeds' anti-inflammatory potential may prove beneficial for people with migraines. Coriander seeds can be chewed and used in food or teas. Oral extracts are also available. Dong Kui also known as Angelica sinensis. Hailing from the same family as carrots, parsley, and celery, Dong Kui root has been used in spice, tonic, and medicinal cream for more than a thousand years, especially in Japanese, Chinese, and Korean practices. Modern uses often mix it with other herbs to treat headaches, fatigue, inflammation, nerve pain. Despite its history, the root hasn't been studied enough to recommend it as an effective treatment for migraine pain yet. Lavender oil, also known as Lavandula augustifolia. Known for its sweet smell, lavender oil, made from the leaves of the lavender plant, is highly fragrant and has been long used to perfume hygiene products. Lavender is indigenous to the mountainous regions surrounding the Mediterranean. It is now widely grown throughout Europe, Australia, and North America. Lavender oil was used in ancient Egypt during the mummification process. Because of its antimicrobial properties and clean scent, it was later added to the baths in Rome, Greece, and Persia. The aromatic flowers and their oils were used to treat everything from headaches and insomnia to mental health complaints such as stress and fatigue. Many of these historical uses remain popular today. 
A 2012 study suggests that inhaling lavender oil during a migraine may help relieve symptoms very quickly. To use lavender oil, breathe in the oil or apply a diluted solution to the temples. If you don't dilute it properly, the oil may irritate the skin at the application site. Lavender oil can be toxic when taken orally at certain doses. Rosemary, also known as Rose Marinus officinalis. Rosemary is native to the Mediterranean region. Medical uses have included the treatment of muscle and joint pain, memory problems, concentration difficulties, nervous disorders, circulatory problems, liver ailments, and migraines. Rosemary oil can be diluted and applied topically or inhaled for aromatherapeutic purposes. The plant's leaves can be dried and ground for the use in capsules. It can also be used in teas and liquid extracts. Rosemary is believed to have antimicrobial, antispasmodic, and antioxidant effects. Linden also known as lime tree or tilia. It's a tree whose blossoms have been used in medicinal teas in Europe and Native American cultures. The plant has been used to calm nerves and ease anxiety, tension, and inflammatory problems, among other issues. The blossoms can also be used in liquid extracts and capsules. Linden has been shown to have sweat-inducing and sedative properties. It's been used to relieve tension and sinus headaches, calm the mind, and induce sleep. The flowers have also been used to relieve nasal congestion and lower high blood pressure. This tea is sometimes used in modern as a modern alternative medicine for the treatment of headaches and migraines. Raw Potato Cuttings The potato has been used in Europe folk medicine for over 200 years. Country folk medicine has anecdotally supported the use of thick slices of raw potato in calming migraine pain. Traditionally, the slices are cloaked in a thin cloth and wrapped around the head or rub directly on the temples to ease tension and pain. Horseradish, also known as Armorasia rusticana, native to Europe. Horseradish has been used in medicinal folk remedies as an oil extract or in dried or fresh root form. It has been historically used to treat bladder infections, kidney disease, respiratory problems, joint pain, arthritis, muscle strain. Its ability to narrow blood vessels may aid in treating migraines as well. Honeysuckle, also known as Lonicera Japonisa, native to Asia. The Japanese honeysuckle started taking root in North America in the 1800s. It's been used in traditional Chinese medicine to treat wounds, fever, colds and viruses, inflammation, sores, and infection. Along with honeysuckle's anti-cancer and anti- microbial powers, research has also identified anti-inflammatory properties in the plant's leaves, stems, and flowers 
that can provide pain relief similar to that of aspirin. It may also be effective against migraine pain. Moline, also known as Verbesca. Since ancient times, people in Europe and Asia have been using moline for medicinal purposes, treating inflammatory conditions, spasms, diarrhea, and migraines. The leaves and flowers can be used for extracts, capsules, and dried pep preparations. Mixtures of the plant used in modern homeopathic therapies for migraine treatment. Research has shown that moline has diuretic properties. Yarrow, also known as Achillea millifolium. Believed to be named after Achilles, the Greek mythical hero, yarrow has historically been used to heal wounds and slow blood loss. Other folk remedies encourage the use of yarrow to treat inflammatory conditions, muscle spasms, and anxiety or insomnia. More recent folk remedies have used yarrow to relieve colds, flus, coughs, and diarrhea. Yarrow has also been shown to have pain relieving, anti-anxiety, and antimicrobial properties. Research shows that it can also help with migraines. Tea berry, also known as Gaultheria procumbens. Tea berry is popularly known as wintergreen. It is native to eastern North America. This edible plant, made famous by tea berry gum, has long held place in folk medicine for its anti-inflammatory properties. It can be used to make teas, other mixtures, and oil extracts. Tea berry also has been used historically as an astringent and a stimulant to fight fatigue. Most important for people who experience migraines is tea berry's potential to treat the headache as well as stomach pain and vomiting. You can brew tea berry in hot water for three to four minutes and drink the mixture to experience its healing effects. Common hops, also known as humulus lupulus. Hops are native to Europe and Western Asia and can now be found throughout North America. Once used as a food in ancient Rome culture, this flavorful plant also has significant medicinal properties. Hops have historically been used to treat sleep problems, inflammation, infections, pain from nerve damage, fever, cramps, spasms, anxiety. Modern medicine does acknowledge the sedative effects of hops. Evodia, also known as Evodia ruticarpa. This deciduous tree is native to China and has been used in Chinese medicine since the first century AD. Evodia has traditionally been used to treat abdominal pain, headaches, diarrhea, and vomiting. The fruits of the tree may also reduce blood pressure. The anti-inflammatory and pain-reducing properties of the fruit may help ease your migraines. Betony, also known as Stachys officinalis, this prenennial plant can be found throughout Europe and Asia. 
It's been used as medicinal plants since classical times. The plant has traditionally been used to relieve headaches and facial swelling and pain. It can be used as a juice or an ointment. The mildly sedative properties of the plant are used to treat headaches and migraines, menstrual cramps, stress, and tension. It may help relieve sinus headaches and congestion when used in combination with lime flowers. Betony can have tonic effects on the body, so it's important to avoid the herb if you are pregnant. Let's talk about probiotic properties. Probiotics are defined as living organisms which, when administered in adequate amounts, confer a health benefit to the host. Some of these that we find in foods are pickles, also known as gherkins. They are cucumbers that have been pickled in a saltwater solution Yogurt, made from milk that has been fermented by a friendly bacteria. Kefir, a fermented probiotic milk drink, and it's made by adding kefir grains. Sauerkraut, this is finely shredded cabbage that has been fermented by lactic acid bacteria. Tempa. This is a fermented soybean product. Kombucha is a black or green tea drink fermented by a friendly colony of bacteria and yeast. Some other foods are the pickled vegetables, cucumbers, carrots, radishes, green beans, cauliflower, and red bell peppers. Although many herbal remedies can be safe when used correctly, they may also have side effects like any prescription medications would. Some herbs can interact with medications such as oral contraceptives or heart drugs. Herbs can be dangerous or even deadly when misused. In addition to herbal treatments, significant research shows that our diet can play a major role in illness frequency, duration, and intensity. The best advice is know yourself and know your options that nature has to offer.